and welcome back to another Bob Blast. Hi, I'm Bob Burridge, and this one is all about the big question I'm asked all the time. Hey, what color should I make the background? I look at the painting and they say to me, well, I, I painted the object, now what color should I make the background? Well, I have to really tell you, it's not about the background and the foreground, it's about the entire painting. You paint the entire painting all at the same time. The real question is cool colors and warm colors. And you can see from some of the paintings behind me how warm colors generally come forward. Cool colors, the blues, the greens, they recede and they go away. So that's background, foreground, but not all the time. <laughs> I just want you to know that's generally is how we look at it. Warm colors, cool colors. Let me show you some examples. So in this in your face painting, notice how the blues, the cool colors recede, the hot colors come forward oranges and reds. Okay, they come forward. Pretty obvious in this one. Let me show you an actual demonstration. Here I have my colors. I have my warm colors, my yellows and reds. Over here I have my blues and greens and a little bit of white. All right. So knowing that I'm going to be doing a painting. I have some examples here, over here. Look at, look at this whole red. All reds. Powerful but the dark colors come forward. Sorry to jump around like this, but dark colors come forward, soft colors recede. Soft colors here recede, dark colors come forward. That's a general kind of observation. Here we go. I'm gonna make sure that this painting here is gonna be all warm. Add some yellows in here, some hot reds. See, I paint all over at the same time. Now on the other one, on this painting here, I'm gonna make sure that the whole painting is mostly blue. See how cool colors tend to recede? Add in a little bit of blatant green in there, yeah. I'm gonna make it even softer. See how it disappears? Disappears. Cool colors. Let's go back over here in the red. Ah. Dark colors. Dramatic. In your face. Now here's an interesting thing. When we add a little bit of blue or cool color to this, Does it come forward or does it recede? Only you can tell. Let's add some of this warm color on top of this. So it looks like the red, the warm color is floating, comes forward. Look how this blue is it coming forward or is it floating? Or are you going through into space? And that's part of the whole next really step in painting values. So if I add a lot of white to this blue, it's gonna make it awfully soft and not come forward. Now it almost becomes a hole. Right? Look at that. So it's not about color coming forward or receding or background color. It's all about color next to color all at the same time. You can't make a decision of what color that should be unless you have color next to it. So you should always have paint all over the whole place all at the same time. I think there's a word for it. It's a verb. It's an action word. It's called painting. 
So that's what painting's all about. Not coloring in a coloring book. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this one about background colors. It's about painting all over the whole place at the same time. Boy, did I enjoy doing this one. I hope to see you on the next Bob Blast. Thanks for watching and keep your brushes wet. Hi there, I'm Bob Burridge, and I'm inviting you to my next Riverboat Cruise painting workshop hosted by the Dillman's Resort. Guess where I'm going? Stay tuned. So this exciting Riverboat Cruise is next spring. Okay, so stay tuned here. And it's from Amsterdam to Belgium, going into the Netherlands. Oh my gosh, all those castles and those historic cities and history. Uh, we're gonna be relaxing and painting on location, not heavy duty painting, but light sketching, colorful pencils and things like that. Then back on our boat, small boat. No, it's a small boat, not one of these giant cruise ships which I love so much, we get personal service. And we're gonna be with all the masterful museums. We're talking Van Gogh, Rembrandt, Vermeer, and all those other wonderful early painters that we love so much. Now we get to go and paint in the tulip fields, the same places they were, and all of the landscapes. We're gonna be doing landscapes and florals, as you see behind me, different styles, but mostly we'll be touring castles, painting in the fields, and go where all the other famous painters have gone before us. Just think, masterpiece, and all in the Netherlands with all those great painters. So I love this boat cruise, it's small. I love it, we did it before, the same boat cruise that we went up in Paris last year. Thank you, Dillman's, you did a great job. So great, we're gonna do it again. And a lot of people are starting to sign up because it is an exciting place. I've always wanted to go there and paint. I hope you can join us. Check out the information at the end of this and I'll see you in the Netherlands. Hi there, and as most of you know, I love drawing the undraped model, especially in my workshops. One of my more popular workshops, I just love because I get to draw too. And as you can see, we're doing drawings from charcoal, we do use paint, black and white paint, all the way up into colorful paintings with acrylic paint. But painting the undraped model and drawing the undraped model is a great luxury for me. And besides, it just is, Exciting to have the whole room, everyone's drawing and painting, it's an exciting workshop. You know, I do them here in my own studio and all over the locations, all over the United States and sometimes Europe too. Hey, this is what I love to do. I hope I'll see you in my next undraped model workshop.